Okay, welcome back. Today's lesson of Area of Triangles. Our target is the same, 6G1, solve real-world and mathematical problems involving area. I can calculate the area of a triangle today and find one of its missing measurements. All right, so we're going to get started with our notes up top. First, we have the area of a triangle is, it's going to be one-half the product of the base and the height. And we'll kind of talk about what that means here. So we're going to take one-half times the product, product means multiply, the base and the height. So one half base times height is how you're going to often see it in a, in a formula sheet or something like that. Another way of thinking about one half is it's the same thing as dividing by two. So another way to write our formula is just base times height divided by two. So you're going to multiply base times height together and then divide it by two. So look at our example down here. We've got our triangle here. The best way we found to think about a triangle is picture it being inside of, I straightened it out a little bit. I know, I would not have been able to do that. I'm being very diligent in mind. So think of it as a rectangle. We know how to find the area of a rectangle just fine. We find its base. This is one, two, three, four, five units long. Its height is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units high. So it's a five by eight rectangle. So our formula, we're gonna do base times height, which is five times eight. But notice, we just want the triangle part inside. So notice Shaded. the triangle is half the size of the rectangle. So the rectangle was base times height, the triangle is base times height divided by two, because we just want half of it. So that's why we divide by two at the end for a triangle. 40 divided by 2 is 20. They didn't give us units, so like we talked about in the last one, we're just going to use the generic term units squared. you got to put divide by 2 there, too. Nope. Oh. Thanks. Sorry, I forgot about that part there. So that's why area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, because you're multiplying the base and height, but that's really the area for the whole rectangle. The triangle is just half of it, so we divide by 2 at the end. All right, talk us through. Well, number one already has a rectangle around it, so we're going to find our base, two, three, four, five. It's bothered me that you haven't had any loop-de-loops on your paper. I like the loop-de-loops. One, I two, I think it was three. lengths of a fence. Okay, four units going as the height. Height is perpendicular to that base, so... I will write it with my fraction. One half base times height is the same thing as one half times five times four. So five times four is 20 divided by two is gonna give us 10 units yeah, squared. All right, so as we're practicing this, we want to see that rectangle around your triangle because it's really gonna help you kind of think about how do I wanna find the area of the whole rectangle and it's just another reminder to divide by two. And then seeing that, oh yeah, I just wanted half of it, so that's why I divide by two. So area is equal to base times height divided by two. My base is two. You left a fraction one for me. Of course I did. The height is five, and then I want to divide by two at the end. So if you're more comfortable thinking of it as dividing by two, go for it. If you're more comfortable thinking about just multiplying times one half, that's perfectly fine. Two times five is 10. That's the area of the whole rectangle but we just want half of it, so we divide by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. We're dealing with feet, so units are going to be feet squared. All right, so you have a choice in the third problem, decimals or fractions. Um, I'm going fractions. I think many of you would go decimals, but you never know. 3 and a half is going to turn into 7 over 2. 6 and a half is going to be 13 over 2. And then our formula does include that one half or dividing by two. Top times top and bottom times bottom, two, four, eight. Denominator, 13 times seven is gonna get us 91. Now I gotta change it back. Eight, eight into 11 is one. So I got 11 with three eighths feet. Square, did I do that right? Looks right. Yeah. Okay, good. 
Okay, if you want to do decimals, go for it. Just remember to make sure that you count how many places over at the end and put that decimal point back in there. And don't forget to divide by two. All right, so, so hopefully you've noticed in each of these problems, we haven't been taking two sides of the triangle to find our areas. We've been looking oh, for that slant. height, which is that vertical distance. We're always looking for that right angle when we're looking for our height. So just like parallelograms, we didn't multiply just two sides together. We always look for the base and the height that meet at that right angle. So now we're going to go backwards. We're going to find a missing measurement. Just like our other one, you start with the formula. The formula is base times height divided by 2. When Mrs. King does hers, she's going to show it using the fraction the times 1 half. Trying to but be plug in what you know. We know the area is 42. We know the base is 14. But we don't know the height. Mm -mm. So there's kind of two ways to tackle this one. Mrs. King's going to show it where she multiplies times 1 half. Really, you're just multi taking care of the number parts here. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Yeah. So I have 7h now. It's a one-step equation. Yay. Now you're just solving your equation. They multiply by 7, so I'm going to divide by 7. 6 is equal to h. In this case, we're dealing with meters, so it's going to be 6 meters. So all you're doing is plugging them into the equation like you have. Do whatever math you're able to, and then solve your equation. And yes, that word says height. That height is six meters on your page. We just didn't fix it on our slide. Okay, working backwards. I need another color. Okay, maybe I don't. Oopsies. All right, so we've got area is 24 inches squared is equal to, this time we, know, we do not know the base. We know the height is 12 times one half. I didn't write the formula out. Oh well. So 12 times one half is going to get me 6b. Is that bothering you right there as an inaccurate? Yes, it was bothering me quite a bit. <laughs> oh, so again, boy. you multiply or divide the pieces you have I'm on that right hand side. Again, again. Talk. So she multiplied times one half. I chose to do it as divided by two, but we can take care of that math. And now it's just an equation for her to solve. So I have 6B is equal to 24 inches squared. I'm dividing both sides by 6. And B is going to be equal to 4, in this case, inches. We can't square it because it's not an area. All right, last one. She left the decimals for me. Luckily, it plays very nicely for us. So area <laughs> is equal to base times height divided by 2. My base is 15, my area is 37.5. So 37.5 is equal to 15 times my height divided by 2. Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and take care of the math that I know how to do here. 15 divided by 2. If you're not sure what it is, do a quick little division problem. 2 goes into 15 7 times. That's 14. Got one left over. I want to keep dividing. So I add my decimal and bring down a 0. 2 goes into 10 five times. So 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 H. H, which is equal to my 37.5. Now I'm going to solve my equation. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to divide by 7.5. Okay. In this case, how many 7.5s go into 37.5? Or how many 75s go into 375? Yep. You end up with 5 for an answer. So 5 is equal to h. So we get 5 meters. meters as my height for this problem. So you're just plugging it in and working your way backwards. Have a good night.